wow, it's been a long time since I've been here, hasn't it? Like, it feels so foreign and weird. I took a little break from YouTube. I felt I really needed to clear my head, think about what I'm doing here on YouTube. My channel has been growing tremendously since I left. I have over 150 new subscribers. So welcome to those of you who are new here. If you've watched some of those Cavitation Machine videos, I hope that you watched the last two or three that I did that kind of explain why I had to move away from that and how that video was truly a fluke to my channel. Like seriously, if you watch that first video, and I know I say this all the time, but it's so true. I literally say, I'm gonna embarrass myself in front of 30 people. Well, little did I know that now 30,000 people have seen that video. 30,000, 30,000? I have something I really feel heavy on my heart that I want to talk about. I have been spending a lot of my time on TikTok and if you are on TikTok, please find me. Please, please, please find me. I'm having so much fun there. I think I'm at 1060 followers. Yeah, I've made more followers on TikTok than I have on YouTube. So what am I here for today? If you know anything about TikTok, you get anywhere from 15 seconds to 60 seconds to do a video. And the information that I wanna share today is a little bit longer. So what I had to do is I had to take a little bit of information. It was a seven minute video that I did and I had to break it down into, I believe I did six mini sessions or videos on TikTok about this but I thought I would expand on it a little bit more here because it allows me a little bit more time to talk about what I really need to say and how I need to say it. So first of all, let me just show you the TikTok videos that I did and that I shared, and then I'm gonna just kind of elaborate on that. Okay, so take a look here. Save our children. Do we really mean that? Every day that you send your child to school, you are sending them to a different type of predator, the government. We literally send our children to an institution to teach our children sexual orientations at the age of eight, sexual preferences at the age of eight. They normalize it at an early age to prepare them and they teach our children not to trust us, to keep secrets from their parents. And when you start breaking down the family, what do you think happens? What happens next? And every single day that you keep sending your child to that institution, they are turned further and further away from you and will no longer trust you or the system of the family. The government that runs our schools wants to dismantle the nuclear family. And they do that by teaching our children how wrong the nuclear family is. And now teachers are afraid of you. They're afraid of you, the parent. And they have every right to be. We can save our children, but start by saving your children first. Keep them home, homeschool them. I want to share this with you so you can save your children first. Because if you save your children, you're saving our children. You're saving the family. And our children won't be subjected to sexual predators. There are a lot of good teachers out there. I've seen them here on TikTok. I know a few personally, but I also know that there are a lot 
of teachers out there that are desperate to get rid of you. They don't want you hovering around their virtual learning anymore. They're calling you helicopter snowplow parents. They're afraid about the honest conversations you will have about the misinformation that they are teaching your children. They're afraid of you. They know you're listening in now where you couldn't before. Saving our children is so much more than sex trafficking. It's about the institution of our government-run schools that are preparing our children for sex. To turn away from you, not to trust you, their parents, so that when a stranger comes along who says, trust me, trust me, they will, because that's what they've been taught to do in the school system by their teachers. I make sacrifices to save my child. We don't have a lot of expensive things. We don't have a big fancy house. We don't go on big luxury vacations. We don't have a lot of material things because we invest in our child's future. We invest in his education. We invest in him. And we get to choose how we raise him. He knows right from wrong. We get to choose when he learns about sex. If you send your child to public school, you have handed over all of your parental rights to the government. Do you get that? They program your children to distrust you. I hope that you're not living under a rock right now. I hope that you are understanding what is happening to our children around the world and why this movement of Save Our Children is becoming such a big deal right now. My purpose of saving our children is about homeschooling. What is your purpose of sending your child into a place where you know they will come out different than you had hoped. They will turn against you. They will rebel against you. They will rebel against your beliefs. They will start questioning everything that you taught them to be truth. There's a reason why our children are rebelling, not just against their parents, but against authority. Because the government-run schools, institutions, are programming our children to do this. They are not teaching our children critical thinking anymore. You cannot be your own person in the school system anymore. Your children are being taught things that you would never choose to teach your child in your home. Teachers are strangers. You don't know this person unless it's your best friend or if it's someone in your family who's teaching your child at the public school. But other than that, that person is a complete and utter stranger to you. And you put your child in their care every day because they have what, a bachelor's degree? Because they work for the school system? You think you can trust them? They're strangers. They don't know you and they don't know your children. They don't know what you believe and they don't know what your child believes and they don't care. They don't care. That's what they're there for. They're there to reprogram anything that you taught them from this point on to something completely and utterly different unless you are that parent who believes in the things that the school system is teaching. And again, that is okay. That's your prerogative. Your child is in the right place. But this video right here is for those of you who are saying no. Those aren't the things that I want my child to learn because right now we 
are being told that being white is wrong and we should be ashamed of it and we should hate ourselves because of it. This is what the school system wants to teach your children. Now, some of you who think that's okay, you might be thinking, well, what's wrong with that? I don't see anything wrong with that. We should be teaching our children to be ashamed of being white and the things that we've done in our past. Well, we've, we've done nothing in the past as white people today. That's in the past. Don't we teach our children that the past is the past and we can't change it? All we can do is be better than they were in the past. So why do we focus on the bad things that white people did in the past and we shove it on our children and we shove it on each other? We are already facing a high suicide rate for children of anxiety and peer pressure and bullying and victimization in the school system. And now we're going to take it a step further and we're going to make them feel bad about how they look, about the skin that they were born in. You don't see the problem with this. You don't see the damage that will be done to children. We're going to find out very soon that in California, they are trying to teach that we are born as white people to be racist and that it's permanent, that we're never going to not be a racist. But I disagree with that. And I think a lot of us, too, can disagree with that. And I think those of us who do disagree with that, we can agree that racism is taught, right? We know that whatever our children are doing is set by example, okay? So why would we send our children into a place where they are being taught that it's wrong to be white? That it's a disgrace, that they should be ashamed, that they should be humiliated, that they should bow down to black people, that they have privilege that nobody else has. They should hate themselves for how they look. Isn't that the same thing as being bullied? Isn't that what we're fighting against when we talk about bullying? Seriously, I would never teach that to my child. That's what they're afraid of. They're afraid that the things that they are teaching your children, you would never dream of telling your children. They don't want you to know what they are teaching your children. And now they are putting in place a policy in California, in several districts in California, to teach their students, are you ready for this? to not tell their parents what they're being taught. They are encouraging teachers to tell their students, do not go home and tell your parents any of this because they're probably not as enlightened as you are and we are. They are telling your children to keep secrets from you. They are telling your children to lie to you. Why are you not horrified? Why are you not thinking, I cannot and will not send my child to school where that is being taught? But yet you do. What are they gaining? What are they learning that they can't learn from you? Don't you think that you know what's best for your child? Because the government run school system doesn't think you do. They don't. They think your beliefs and your ideas are stupid. They want to change the next generation into liberal machines. Again, if you want your child to be raised liberal, that is up to you. Keep your children in school. Let them learn all those things. That's fine. But there are many of us out here, not only who are conservatives, but also who are independents, moderates, 
and people who want their children to learn for themselves, to think for themselves, not to be told what to believe and what to think and who to vote for. Your children are being manipulated, brainwashed, and reprogrammed. And you let it happen. You let it happen. You are sending your children into a place knowingly where they will turn against you, where they will keep secrets from you, where they will hide things from you. I'm going to do a video very soon on how you can take your child's education into your own hands. You can do it. Please don't tell yourself, this is a really good idea, but I can't do it. You can do it. It is not rocket science. It is not brain surgery. It is not complicated. Is it hard? Absolutely. But is it worth it? You bet because you control the narrative. You get to raise your children the way you see fit. You get to be the one who teaches your child right and wrong. And imagine what kind of world we can build on love and unity when we are able to do that with our children, when we are able to bring them into our home where they belong. They belong with you. It was never ever intended for you to hand over your children to strangers and to the government. You can do this. And I will show you how. I will encourage you how. I will help you through every step of the way because your child is worth it. Your child should be your main priority because we can protect our children in our own homes. That's how we stop our children from being trafficked. The wrong people are teaching our children the wrong information and they know it. And that's why they want to keep it a secret from you. Hit subscribe. Come along on this journey and find out before it's too late. You still have time. You still have time to save your children. And I want to help you. It's scary, but so worth it. So worth it. No matter what, no matter what your circumstances are, you can make this happen. And I want to help you do that. I hope you come back for the next video, 10 tips for new homeschooling families. Then you're going to learn how you can do this, how you can make this a reality and how it can be a great reality not just for your children, but for you too.